Yo, what's Gucci YouTube? Y'all already know who the fuck it is. Fat boy K Big for y'all that don't know. Today I wanted to talk about a few things, you know what I'm saying? First off, this map revelation, you know, when Black Ops 3 zombies, you know, when everybody was hyped on it, you know, it started with Shadows of Evil, everybody wasn't too keen on that map, you know, you had to do the rituals every time and whatever the fuck. Then down the line, you know, we got the Ice and Draka. And that map to me, you know, I will I was like, at the time, that was my favorite map. But then down the line, you know, we got Garage Krovi, uh, Zetsubo no Shima. I wasn't too fond of those maps. I didn't really fuck with them like that. I actually thought both of those maps were too close quarters and kind of whack in my opinion. But then they came out with this shit. And Revelations, oh my god. This map is so fucking good. And when I say so fucking good, I mean it's so fucking good. I don't know what it is about the map, the fact that you know, it's fucking fun, or there's there's different maps in one map, you know what I'm saying? You could teleport from Nocturne Totem to Mob of the Dead to the Isengrad, to, you know, so many locations, Kino the Totem, like, there's so many fucking maps in this one map that that's why I feel like, you know, I'm so, I'm so in love with it. And I wouldn't say it's the honeymoon phase, you know, the honeymoon phase being like, oh, it's something new, something refreshing, so you're gonna like it, but give it some time, you'll hate it, and honestly, I don't think I will ever hate this map, this map is so fucking dope, there's so many places to train, so many weapons to get, you could get the fucking Ragnaroks from the box, you could get the fucking, the gun that shoots the little purple bowl or whatever that sucks them up, no homo, you know what I'm saying, you could get all those fucking weapons in the box, which we've been waiting for a while now, they even brought back the Thunder Gun, the only thing that I would say... They didn't bring back the Rago Mark III from Garage Krovi, which I could kind of understand. That would be too OP in a sense, you know what I'm saying? Like, this mad special weapons on this map, niggas, is going to survive forever. But um, with that being said, man, let's get into the second thing I want to say in the Easter egg. You know, we have big YouTubers out here who work on, on, on completing the Easter eggs, you know, some in specific or generalizing who I'm talking about. Noah J, you know what I'm saying, Mr. T Lexify, Chucky, Mr. Dalek JD, Mr. Rafa Wap, all these niggas that, you know, look forward to solving the Easter egg, getting to the boss fight, making sure they make tutorials of how to do the Easter egg, even though those videos are super long, but they're super helpful, you know what I'm saying, they teach you how to get to the Easter egg, if you're one of the players who get bored of going to high rounds and just want to complete the Easter egg on the map, then, you know, you have to do what you gotta do. But that being said, I don't know how long it's been. All I know is that the Xbox One and the PC version of this map for the DLC is about to be released in, I think, less than nine days. And we know back then with maps like Dice and Draka, fucking uh, Zesubo, you know, Garak Krovi, the, the Easter eggs was getting figured out quick. You know, two days the map being out and people were already... Figuring the shit out, showing us the boss fight locations, how to get to the boss fight, how to do certain things to, you know, get to the boss fight. So, I don't know, I'm just kind of worried because if there's no Easter egg, I'm pretty sure that's going to upset the community. People are going to be like, yo, what the fuck? Like, you know, how, how y'all going to end off the story mode with no fucking Easter egg or whatever? And the final thing that I want to talk about is that how hyped I am for Infinite Warfare, man. The fucking zombies in there looks dope. Multiplayer looks dope. Um, I think it's gonna be a good year for COD, man, and honestly, if you're not a, a, a COD head, if you're not a COD crackhead like I am, you know, you're missing out, man, but I'ma just keep it positive. I hope whatever game you buy, you know, you enjoy that shit. Anyways, with that being said, y'all already know who the fuck it is, I'm out here, man.